the U.S. is more than likely uh, going to agree with the Israeli uh, government wanting to create more settlements in uh, Gaza and the West Bank and steal more land. The United States has always been in favor of the Israeli government creating settlements. That's why they always veto any UN resolution uh, declaring the settlements illegal and that they should be removed. What, there's like 140 illegal settlements and 700,000 illegal settlers in the West Bank? I wonder how people are going to be able to justify the Israeli government breaking international law in creating settlements in the West Bank. Let's further discuss this now with Hassan Nazal. He is a Palestinian journalist and he joins us live now from the occupied West Bank uh, to discuss, of course, the expansion of illegal settlements in the Palestinian territories. Uh, thank you for being with us on the program. I want to start off by talking about uh, several auctions that have been held in America. We have been seeing videos that have been circulating around online of settlements in the occupied West Bank being auctioned off to Jews who live in countries like the United States and Canada with, of course, the backing of the Israeli government. We know illegal settlements are... Yeah, the Israeli government has done this quite often where they will sell land belonging to Palestinian people and people from around the world who some have never stepped foot in Israel or ever lived there but somehow because uh, they're of the Jewish faith they get to claim land in Palestine which makes no sense whatsoever uh, do Palestinians who uh, whose ancestors once lived in Israel get to just take over what plot of land in Israel that they want? No. ...are against international law. So what does this tell us about Western governments who have publicly voiced their opposition to these illegal settlements, but have done little to stop them from happening? Yeah. Uh, this means that uh, Western governments, and mainly the United States, as you mentioned, that tens of thousands of American Jews are coming Palestine and live in the settlements built on Palestinian land in violation of the Geneva Conventions and the international law and the American government. I mean, you don't even actually have to have like some ancestor that was Jewish in order to claim land in uh, the West Bank and stuff. All you got to do is convert to Judaism. And the Israeli government will allow you to steal land from Palestinians and allow you to kill people and have the IDF protect you. And it's likes are aware of that. But the American administration and the Western governments, mainly Britain, are complicit in the crime against Palestinians because what we see in Gaza, for example, and the war against our people in Gaza and the genocide is fully supported by these governments. And when it comes to the settlements. Uh, oh, yeah, you got the United States and like Biden, who's uh, giving the Israeli government emergency arms and bypassing the. Pins and stuff. Uh, yeah, they're definitely uh, supporting the Israeli government's illegal uh, settlements. Uh, if they were honestly against the Israeli government killing Palestinians in the West Bank and taking their land, uh, the United States would do more to punish the Israeli government, just like how the uh, uni uh, United States is looking to punish uh, Putin for committing a genocide against the Ukrainians. It, it is wild how Putin killing Ukrainians is a bad thing, but to many Americans, uh, uh, the Israeli government killing Palestinians is an okay thing. What's the difference between the Ukrainians being genocided and the Palestinians being genocided? Is it just because uh, the, the leader that's doing the genocide is liked by one group and not by the other? In the 
occupied West Bank and mainly in Jerusalem, as you showed in your report. Also, these settlements are supported by the American administration, either by a Oh, in uh, Jerusalem, in occupied Jerusalem, Palestinians are not uh, considered citizens. They're pretty much like citizens, second class citizens. And this is something that the United States also supports the Israeli government doing, making people second class citizens. Allowing its citizens to leave their homes in the United States and come and live here in occupied Palestine, or by allowing the companies in the United States to fund the settlement projects in the occupied West Bank and mainly in Jerusalem, as we know that many American... If the United States was truly against terrorism, they would be speaking out against the uh, Israeli settler terrorists that are Palestinians. You've even had a few American Palestinians killed by Israeli settlers. Then what did Biden do? Just sanction for Israeli terrorists for their terrorism against uh, Palestinians. If this was any other group, uh, Biden would be wanting to punish the entire nation and claiming that the entire nation supports uh, terrorism. But when it's the Israeli government, uh, it's a whole different situation. Companies are funding and are having their own projects in the Israeli colonial settlements in the West Bank. So the Americans and regrettably mm -hmm. are part of the a problem and the tragedy that the Palestinians Anybody who disagrees with the um, who anybody who agrees with the Israeli government uh, committing genocide against the Palestinians are no different than Nazis who wanted to genocide against Jewish people. Uh, in the case of people supporting the Israeli government, they're being racist towards Semitic Palestinian people instead of Semitic Jewish people, like the Nazis were. Uh, it's just Zionist hate. Uh, Semitic Palestinians and Nazis hate Semitic Jewish people. They're basically one and the same, it's just they hate different groups of people. Palestinians have as they support the Zionist colonial project in the different forms of support, mm -hmm. whether by money or by allowing their citizens to come and live here. So how do you, uh, so how effective do you think and we cannot forget that uh, the Israeli settlements are illegal under international law. So anybody who claims that the Israeli government is actually following international laws is lying because they haven't been for decades now. Going into the West Bank and killing Palestinians to take their land is not following international law. And it shows that the Israeli government is a terrorist government when they're arming and funding terrorists to kill people and take their land. I think the uh, sanctions, the U.S. sanctions on illegal settlers, Israeli illegal settlers, have been. Really, I, uh, I don't want to undermine the importance of that, but this is not what should the United States do. Over 420 Palestinians killed in occupied West Bank since October 7th. Uh, the West Bank is not controlled by Hamas, so anybody who claims that the IDF is killing people to get rid of Hamas is just lying. Like the four-year-old who got shot while being in a vehicle. Is that person Hamas? N no, it's a four-year-old. And anybody who justifies the IDF killing a four-year-old is a terrorist. This is do. What is demanded from the United States and the international community as a whole is to implement the United Nations and mainly the Security Council resolutions vis-a-vis -vis the Palestinian cause and the resolutions that consider all the Israeli settlements in the West Bank and Jerusalem as illegal and illegitimate. And the Zionist settlers who live in the occupied Palestinian territories are outlawed and they don't have the right to exist on the Palestinian land. So the Americans would be serious about 
solving the whole conflict in the region when they say that no Israelis 